the 4pm duo T.O.P. expressions. Let's take a look at some useful and suitable expressions we can use in various situations. So, uh, today we're going to be talking more about this. Shall we dive into our first expression? 네, 첫 번째 표현입니다. Uh, 오늘 투표가 종료되자마자 출구 조사 괄, 결과가 발표될 예정입니다. Oh, so lots of interesting words coming out here. So, uh-huh. 투표가 종료되자마자. So, 종료 is to to finish, to right? end, to end, to finish and 뭐뭐 하자마자 되자마자 as soon as something happens. So, as soon as voting ends today, uh-huh. as soon as voting ends today, what is 출구 조사? 결과. 출구 조사 is the exit poll and mm. 결과 would be results. So 출구 조사 결과 would be exit poll results. Mm. And then 발표될 예정입니다. So they will be announced. Right. Mm. They will be announced. So altogether, the exit poll results will be announced as soon as the voting ends today. The exit poll results will be announced as soon as the voting ends today. Mm-hmm. All right, let's jump into our second expression. 두 번째 표현입니다. 이대로 가면 그 후보의 당선이 유력해. Mm-hmm. 이대로 가면 if things continue like this or if the trend continues. Mm, if the trend continues 혹은 if things continue like this. Uh, and then 당선이 유력해. So 유, 유력하다 is uh, 무슨 뜻인가요? 유력하다 is most likely to get elected. So have a high chance of winning the election. Right. So if things continue like this, that candidate is likely to win the election. Exactly. Yeah. Or if the trend continues like this, that candidate has a high chance of winning the election. Right. High chance and likely are the same meaning. 같은 뜻이죠. Right. Mm-hmm. Rightly so. All right. Let's move on to our third expression. 네, 세 번째 표현입니다. 개표 방송을 하루 종일 지켜봐야 해. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, 개표 is ballot count. Right. Mm-hmm. Today, many people have a day off, so yeah. I'm sure they can mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, they, they'll have the TV on or the radio on to have an update, have a constant update on how the uh, the ballots are turning out to be. 그렇죠. 개표 방송, 그 개표의 결과를 중계하는 방송이죠. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then... 하루 종일 지켜봐야 하다. So we have to watch it all day, basically. Right. Keep, keep an eye on it. 지켜보다. Keep an eye on to watch all day. Right. Keep an eye on. That's a good expression. Mm. So you got to watch the news on the ballot count all day or all day long. You got to watch the news on the ballot count all day long. Hogan, you need to keep an eye on the ballot count news all day long. All right, good stuff. All right, interesting stuff. Let's move on to our fourth expression. 네 번째 표현입니다. 당선된 후보가 자기의 공약을 얼마나 이행하느냐를 잘 지켜봐야 해. Ooh, 이행하느냐. Mm. So 이행하다 is to fulfill. Yes, to fulfill like a 공약, a pledge or a promise. Mm-hmm. Uh, 당선된 후보 is the elected candidate. So I said we'll have to keep an eye on whether the elected candidate sticks to his pledges. Oh, sticks to his pledges. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I instead of sticks to, I said will be true to. So I said we'll see how well the newly elected candidate will be true to fulfilling his or her pledges. I like uh, to be true to. It sounds like a a cartoon movie. Be true to yourself <laughs> and you can achieve anything. Right. Like it's it's the same <laughs> same thing as sticking to. Yeah. Yeah. Stick to, keep to, fulfill. You know how to say that. great stuff. Let's move on to our fifth expression. 네, 다섯 번째 표현입니다. 그 선거구에서 가장 많은 무효표가 나왔어. Okay, some interesting words. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 무효표 is, I guess, uh, invalid or blank ballots. Right. Uh, I guess there, like, there are many reasons they can be invalid. Either they are blank, right, or maybe they it's from like you cut, they don't know where they voted. Right. It could be like in between. Uh, yeah. Ambiguous, right? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So that would be 무효표 or a invalid vote, and then 선거구. Songogu is an area, is a district. Uh, I guess in Korea, in Busan included, um, there's districts and county. Yeah. So we will call it an election district. An Your election. Songogu, right. Election district. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. You could you could uh, pinpoint a particular district and say a particular district. So 
this particular district, this Momo district, had the most invalid ballots. 맞습니다.